Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you a 3D Cube virtual desktop effect for Windows. We've seen it in Ubuntu in my previous videos. Now we can show you how to install it in Windows. There's a program called Desk Space. It's a 3D virtual environment that allows you to have a cube and, and of course have different programs running in each of those spaces on the uh, on the cube. It's made by the Otaku Software Company. So you can go to otakusoftware.com and download the, um, the software from there. Um, thanks uh, to Otaku for, for providing this to me. Uh, there are minimum system requirements, of course, to installing this. You will have to have certain minimum requirements, but it does install in Windows XP and Vista. So obviously, the faster your video card and the newer it is, the better performance you're going to get out of the 3D Cube. So let's go ahead and install this version 1.553 that I have here and I go through the options and set things up I'm gonna leave most of this at the default I'm just gonna maybe um, change the activation hotkeys and in, in, in Ubuntu I had it set up uh, to be control and alt only and and I use the uh, the arrow keys and my mouse in here you can also select uh, similar key combinations and um, and select how it's activated, which keys uh, and, uh, you press. You can control also if you want it to start up uh, automatically and um, when, when you log into Windows and things like that. So you can go through these and set these things up the way you want it. Uh, then through the mouse tab here at the top, hot spots, right? If I move my mouse on the top corner, for example, it will activate it. Um, things like that. So you can you can control how, how that uh, mouse behavior works and the zoom of the cube zooming in and out right and the rotation speed stuff like that so um, you might want to adjust that and the colors of course more colors the, the slower it might run so that's why you want to just maybe try it out with the defaults and that's what these are right now 16-bit medium quality um, no background right now I'm just leaving all the defaults uh, leaving the transparency and everything as it is so let's go ahead and invoke this um, I don't want to change anything else in here so I'll just press the key combinations and then automatically there's the cube okay with the reflection at the bottom I'll zoom out a little bit more so that way you can see the cube from far away and uh, there's my uh, my workspace here in Windows and you can see in the background because it's transparent that I already have a couple of other spaces and and, and my browsers are in the other areas I have Firefox in one in one side of the cube I've got Internet Explorer 8 on the other side of the cube. I've got my widgets, the gadgets there on the corner. i got the clock, but they're not actually running. Nothing's actually uh, running and moving. Uh, the clocks are actually still. Everything is kind of still, so it's not like an Ubuntu that you get live movement of what you see in there. Okay, It's like a, when you zoom out, you can see it. But if you click on the taskbar, you can see also what's running. So you can see here the, the, the desktops, the different virtual areas and you can also manage the different options and filter what you want to show and what you want to hide basically uh, from from those different sides right now when it comes to memory usage I went to the task manager the Windows task manager to see the process for desk space and see how much it was using of memory so it's using hundred and forty five megs roughly at this time um, considering that I have uh, the browsers uh, and I'm um, using the capture program and everything within these spaces, right? So I'm sharing all of that and, and, and using that. So 145 megs, so keep that in mind, right? The more stuff you have open and used, it's going to have a default amount of memory usage there um, on your system. So um, it's a little bit different, like I said, when you, when you um, zoom out and you rotate the cube, it's not actually running. You don't actually see, um, for example, a video running. If I press play here on my video on my YouTube channel, you won't actually see it playing while I rotate the cube. Okay, so that's that's uh, something that's different from the Ubuntu version. Um, so, anyways, try it out. It's uh, Desk Space from Utaku Software. Hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.